You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today, a year later, I have Sarah Wallachy. 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 Okay. Well, sorry. I thought I was going to get it right. It's all right. Anyway, we are another year, and now it's the 25th anniversary for family and community resources. Right. We lost the Brockton, but we're still here. Right. It's hard for an old timer like me because I've <laughs> known it forever with the Brockton in the ward. But yeah. that that that's you still do great things. That's and, right. Same uh, services. You also do them kind of on a regional basis. So we it's do. Not yeah. just we have services in Quincy, Broxton, Taunton, uh, Cape in the Islands. So oh, we cover, you know, a good portion of southeastern Massachusetts. So you're having a twenty fifth anniversary celebration and the title of it is Raising a Generation of Children in a Violent World. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, we don't like the last part. Okay? <laughs> That's right. Okay, but That's unfortunately, right. it's a fact of life, and, and and it's too much of an everyday mm -hmm. occurrence. Yep, and it's, you know, the purpose of the event from the start is to celebrate the anniversary of our visitation center, supervised visitation, which. You know, that's kind of where the raising children in a violent world ties in because a lot of the children that we see in that program have been witness to violence. Um, we have two different programs. One is specifically for children who have been involved in a domestic violence situation mm -hmm. um, and another where the children are referred from DCF, whether they're in foster care um, and they're not in custody of either of their parents. Um, and in both cases, this allows the children to be able to maintain a relationship with the parent in a, in a healthy manner and we have trained volunteers and staff who supervise and they're you know still allowed to visit one another and maintain the relationship even though the custody has been uh, taken and, away. And it's important you know I guess despite the circumstances that kids still have a relationship with, with right. both of their parents because Absolutely. you don't want generations of children without a father right or a mother or significant Absolutely. other or mm -hmm. whatever you say these days that's politically correct right yeah um, I mean this the studies and you know research has shown that regardless of what's going on with the parents having an intact um, relationship with both parents if possible is the most beneficial for the child now all the way back to 1991 mm -hmm. Patricia Kelleher who's your CEO and yes. has been your CEO and mm -hmm. has been involved has um, you know, really gotten out there effectively in the community to build community support, to get people to support the services because it costs money. Mm -hmm. You're a nonprofit. Right. So part of this invitation only event is to raise a few dollars to, you know, support the mission. Well, we're actually um, going to be offering this event. Um, it's a free event oh, okay. for people who can attend. Um, like you said, it is invitation only, but if anyone is interested in attending the event, um, we're more than happy to have you give us an email or call the office and we can arrange for an invitation to be sent. Um, but yes, as I said, we're lucky enough to have a small sponsorship from Nisource, mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be helping to. Um, you know, cover some of the costs for this event. We want people to be able to come and just celebrate with us rather than, um, you know, really pushing it as a fundraiser. And what we're asking is for our guests to bring an item off of our wish list. So you can find that on our website as well, fcr-ma.org. And so we have things on there like new games, toys, and activities so that when these kids are coming um, and they have the visits with their parents, they have new, clean, appropriate toys and games to be um, playing with and interacting with their parents to sort of facilitate the whole process. I like it. Bring a, bring, bring bring a, a toy. new game or and a toy or something like that. <laughs> um, I'm sure, not specifically for the event, but you always welcome donations because it, it, it pays for the, the, the actual cost. Yes, of different and thank things. you for bringing that up. We actually, um, right now, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, so mm -hmm. there's a lot going on. Um, I was just at an event this morning, the Purple Tie Guy um, event with Health Imperatives. So we actually have a donation box at Starbucks on Belmont Street. Um, they were generous enough to allow us to do a drive there. So it's actually a cell phone drive. Mm -hmm. And so we take used, broken, old cell phone smartphones and we're able to turn them in for cash. And we use the cash for our domestic violence safe home program. So that's a program um, when in an emergency a family can come to us if it's a domestic violence situation and their safety is, you know, being at risk, then we either find them a shelter in the state or if we can't do that, then we um, 
purchase a hotel room for them for up to three nights. So that's where that funding would go. So you said broken, even a broken, broken cell phone? Broken, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> it, like really broken? Well, you know. Because uh, you never know. You, you always, Everybody has right. one of those hanging around in a drawer. Every, I mean, I've got a couple in my drawer, too. I've got to bring them in. So, yeah, if you can take a trip over to a Starbucks and give us your old phones, that would be great. We can get up to $300 for them, depending on the condition they're in. So. Okay. Now, um, I noticed on the invitation mm -hmm. and in the mailing, uh, you're, there are a few people also being honored, am I yes, correct? Yes, yes. Um, we're honoring one woman, um, so we're going to be honoring Janet Trask, mm -hmm. and she's going to be the recipient of our Wayne McAllister Community Service Award, um, who was a late board member of ours. That's what I was getting to. Wayne was my colleague on the Southeastern School Committee and a good friend and yeah. a mentor for years to come, and I'm, I'm happy to see the Wayne McAllister Award, and I'm also yeah. happy to see Janet Trask. Right, she's very deserving. Very deserving, someone who's helped people in more ways than anyone can count. She mm -hmm. was a nurse at the VA. Right. And uh, just uh, all still very good involved, person. Yeah. She, she's now uh, graduated to the uh, Google generation because she takes pictures of everything. Yes, she does. And now, <laughs> instead of handing you a DVD or a CD, she's handing you the web address yep. so you can get all the stuff off of Google yeah. now but great. I'm very happy about that yeah. we have a busy day that day as you heard mm -hmm. but we're gonna make time for this because great. we think it's really important yeah. and uh, lastly I'll just say about our keynote speaker mm -hmm. um, is gonna be Dave Wedge who okay. is a journalist for the Boston Herald and a number of other um, outlets and he was the co-author of the book Boston Strong which mm -hmm. is based on the Boston Marathon bombings and it's also been a part of um, the creation of a movie coming out soon called um, Patriots Day, I believe, mm -hmm. um, with Mark Wahlberg and a number of other, you know, high, high up there celebrities. So that's awesome. And he's going to be coming because he's been involved with media and, you know, reporting on a lot of the things that are going on in the world around us. And so he's going to kind of give his perspective on how that may affect children. So that kind of brings back the children in a violent world. So, you know, he's seeing a lot of these things, reporting on a lot of them. He has kids himself. So, you know, it's going to be a chance for us all to kind of talk about what we can do to protect our kids and, you know, keep them as healthy as possible. So um, you gave the website, if you could give it again, and a phone number. So sure. if people need your services other than just this event, Absolutely. you can access Absolutely. Them. Can access so the them. website is uh, www.fcr-ma.org, and our phone number is 508-583-6498, and we have 24-hour um, line, so you can call at any time, free confidential services. Well, Sarah, thanks for doing what you do. Absolutely. And pass it along to Pat as well. I will do. She's done it for years, and we're glad to have you on Greater Brockton. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks glad to be here. here. Okay. You are watching Greater Brockton. Uh, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.